One of the most anticipated new features in Band in a Box 2015 for Mac is the ability to record audio. You can now record vocal or instruments to the audio track. And in combination with the ability to then move audio to other tracks with the Move Audio to Performance Track feature, that actually opens up Band in a Box as an easy to use multi-tracking program. To start recording, just press the Record Audio button. This opens the Record Audio dialog where you can get everything ready for recording. The Audio Options button opens the Audio Devices dialog where you can select a recording device. The list of devices will update in real time if you connect or disconnect an audio interface. If Use Default Device is checked, then the selected device will automatically update when you change the input device in your System Preferences sound settings. Checking this option also changes to the system's default input if that is not currently selected. The Set Recording Levels button will launch System Preferences Sound where you can select a recording device and recording levels for that device. Pressing the Test Recording Level button will open the VU meters, which you have the option of displaying during recording. These meters show the average strength of the signal in decibels. You would try to avoid going into the red, which will clip the signal, and the result would be distorted. So ideally, you'd aim to have it stay around the middle. You can choose to only record a certain portion of the song, either by selecting a bar and chorus number to start from, or by punching in. You can actually use the punch in feature in combination with the record from feature. For example, you could start recording at bar 13, but have the punch in set at bar 15, effectively giving yourself two bars of pre-roll before recording begins. If you already have an audio track and you want to overdub so your new recording gets blended in with the old one, you can select that here. But with the Move to Artist Performance Tracks feature, you're actually able to record multiple independent tracks of audio, which makes editing and mixing after the fact easier, which is a better option. But this is still available as an option, though it's disabled right now because we haven't recorded anything yet. And you can also record MIDI simultaneously to either the melody or soloist track. So we're already here to record a sax to this Band in a Box song, so we'll press the record button to start recording. So we've skipped ahead in the video and we've recorded one chorus of this song. We'll keep take. One other thing you may have noticed is that an audio panel has now been added to the mixer. By default this is hidden if there is no audio track and it appears if there is an audio track. But it can also be opened and closed manually with this button at the bottom right. So let's listen to a little bit of that. Now, say we wanted to add a harmony horn to this. As we saw in the record dialog, we could overdub over this audio, but that would prevent any future mixing between the balance of the two horns. Instead, what I'm going to do is move this audio to another track, Melody, as a performance track, freeing up the audio track to record a separate audio track. I'll label this now tenor sax. And now we'll record alto sax playing a harmony part.
Again, we've skipped ahead in the video, and now we've recorded a harmony horn over our initial melody. And if we play them back... We can now mix these two separate audio tracks individually. 